Good morning friends. All are welcome to the digital platform of Institute of Banking Studies. Today we are going to discuss about joint accounts in banks. Most of the times we may come across with certain doubts regarding conduct of such joint accounts. Let us see what are all the main major points in conducting such accounts. The first of all, suppose two persons are opening a joint bank account. It may be either in the form of either a survivor or former or survivor. In some cases, banks will open joint account with a survivorship clause as latter or survivor also. One by one, we will see what is the importance given for this mode of operation. First one, in the case of either or survivor account, two persons will be there in the particular bank account. Let us see A and B. They are opening a bank account with either or survivor. Both A and B is having the right to conduct the account. They can operate the account. In the case of former or survivor, the first named party only can operate the account. The second party is the survivor who will come into the picture only after the death of the first party. In the case of latter or survivor, the second named party is getting the full right to conduct the account and the person who is named first, he will become the survivor. So after the death of the latter, the second party, the survivor first party will come into the picture so that he can continue operation or he can close the account. In the case of jointly or survivor, both of them, that is A and B should come to the bank for every operations. And if something happened to both of them, A and B together, then the survivor, any one of them can come and claim the payment. Till that time, both of them have to operate the account jointly. So this is regarding survivorship loss. And another mode of operation is without survivorship loss. Without survivorship loss, also you can open bank account, but there is a problem. Suppose something happened to one person, the surviving person along with the legal heir of the deceased person should approach the bank for getting the money back. That means the survivor alone cannot do anything because there is no survivorship clause attached at the time of opening the account. Let us examine how the nomination facility is connected with this survivorship clause as well as without survivorship clause. Suppose in the survivorship clause, nomination facility is added, then remember the nominee will come into the picture for claiming the amount death of joint depositors. Suppose A and B opened a deposit account jointly as either or survivor and they have nominated Mr. C as the nominee. Suppose something happened to A, B as the survivor can claim the amount, there there is no prominence for the nominee Mr. C. Mr. C can come and claim the amount only after the death of A and B both. So only after the death of the depositors, nominee is come into the picture, then only he can claim the amount. Here you see upon death of one of the depositors, the survivor can withdraw the deposit without any legal formality. Upon death of all the depositors, the nominee can withdraw the balance available in the deposit account. So remember, in the case of a joint account with the survivorship clause and with the nomination, the nominee will come into the picture only after death of all the depositors. We will now see what is the provision for survivorship without survivorship clause and with the nomination. Suppose without survivorship clause with the nomination, upon death of one or more depositors, legal heirs together with the surviving depositor can claim the amount. We can take one example. A and B has opened a joint account without a survivorship clause. So they have to come to the bank jointly and operate the account. Suppose something happened to Mr. A. Mr. B is the surviving depositor. So he alone cannot come and claim the amount because there is no survivorship clause added at the time of opening the account. Here the survivor along with the legal heir of Mr. A has to approach the bank for getting the money back. And upon death of the other depositors, of course, if there is a nomination, the nominee can come. So nominee here also will come into the picture only after the death of all the depositors. That's all friends. Thank you. If you like our content, do like, share and subscribe.